How are you today? Well, the response is overwhelming. I'm so glad I came on stage. Do you have a slide, please? Naked, I do get often with the right people. I will see you later, darling. So, as you probably guess, I'm not from around these parts. It's my first time in Silicon Valley. I'm very excited. But uh, people are not robots, and they are human. Um, so l let's look at this picture first. That used to be me. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about my story, because I think it's important to make blockchain and crypto uh, a little bit more human and kind of user-friendly. Does that make sense or not, uh, anybody? So that's me. Um, when I was two, my mum left my dad because my dad was a gambler. He ran debts up all over town. She had no choice but to leave him. She went to live with her mum, and she was sexually abused by her stepfather. So we had to leave that situation when I was two years old. We lived in the park. It was minus five degrees. Me and my mum, we were homeless for quite a long time. We moved to about 50 towns before I was 10 years old. And it was, you know, it was a really bad time. But what that time gave me is a blessing in disguise. It gave me an ability to see suffering firsthand. And it gave me the vision to see what I could do for myself and take responsibility. So what I, if you bear with me, I'll tell you what this story is all about. In the last decade, house have prices sound? have increased dramatically. I can't give her a nice home. I can't give her a stable future. Leaving many people in the UK unable to buy a home. I don't own my own house. My mum didn't own her own house. And over half struggling to pay rent. There's so many people that can't afford a house. Now, property millionaire Marco is doing something remarkable. I'm giving away a flat. That could transform a family's future. We are homeless. What am I worried about? Having no eyesight and not being able to earn money. I just want better for them. Who do you give it to? It's an impossible situation. Get a house for free, Tuesday at 9 on Channel 4. Thank you. So before I play the next video, that TV show was uh, something that I did in the UK on Channel 4. I don't know if anyone knows of Channel 4. So it's one of the biggest TV stations in the UK. I was asked by Channel 4 if I would like to give a house away on TV to address the social housing issue. And I said I would absolutely love to do that because no one else would do it. <laughs> and they asked millionaires, they asked billionaires, they asked trillion, zillion, whatever it is, and they wouldn't do it. So I thought, well, this needs to be done and it needs to make a statement. So I made that TV show last year. It aired, it had about 10 million viewers. And at the end of it, we had, at the beginning of it, sorry, I had 25,000 applicants for one house. So it's really difficult to have one house and 25,000 homeless people to help. It's a very horrible situation to be in. Now, at the end of that TV show, I was able to give three houses away and pay off the mortgage for three people. So one of them was a girl who was 18 years old, had been sexually abused by five stepfathers, who had a kid, long story, dr rain dripping through the ceiling, blah, blah, blah. There was a Syrian asylum-seeking family who were the most amazing people I'd ever met. He was 64 years old. His two sons, 24 and 21, he paid $20,000 to human traffickers to get him out of Syria 10 years ago in a ship container, not knowing where they were going to be. Uh, they ended up in London. They stayed there for nine years and 30 pounds a week. And then the government stopped supporting them. They rejected the asylum. And they were literally sleeping under a bridge. And their day was, they slept in a church shelter. They got up at 7 a.m. They had to leave at that time. Had one meal a day. They went to the library. The kids studied accountancy, master's degrees in the library till 4 p.m. Then they took seven bags over to the shopping mall to the food court because that's the only place they could actually have shelter. But they had no money to eat. And they had one meal a day. And they were the most amazing people. I gave them a house, which is the most amazing feeling I can tell as a human being. And then there was a, um, a blind lady with the pink hair who worked in emergency services answering 911 calls. Same age as me. I'm 50, by the way. I know you should say, wow. Yeah, I am wow. 50. Thank you for that. Thanks for the validation. Appreciate it. So she was 50, but she had literally no savings. Uh, she couldn't buy her own house. But she was working you know, 75 hours a week for the community. So this is a massive problem. There are 1.6 billion displaced people that don't have adequate housing right now. So out of this program, I thought, well, how can I make homelessness something that's going to be obsolete quickly? And how can I use it through technology? And of course, the best way to do that is through blockchain technology right now. That's the best way to do it, the best application. Because if you think about it, when you give to charity, do you know where your money's going? 
And why do you give to charity? So charity is the most abused industry in the world. Literally 90% of the funds that you think gets to the person never actually arrives. So I've created a new uh, charity called Big Love, which I'm going to show you a little bit more later on in detail, that actually verifies the ID of the homeless, rehabilitates them, and then micro-loans them housing so they can actually get a job and rehabilitate and transform themselves. But your funds can actually, you can actually see your funds visually transforming that person's life from homelessness into a new life. How does that sound? So for me, that's, that's the most rewarding thing because I used to be homeless, so I know what it's like. So for being homeless and being able to cure homelessness is a very humbling thing to do, and it's, it's, one of my, it's kind of my life's work. So let me show you this quick video here. We really, really need help. three wishes, what would they be? That's the question. Have someone to live, my children, back with me, and just be back, you know, to living like a normal person. I just want accommodation, a roof over my head, uh, and start going back to work, you know? So that's now started as a pre-ICO and that's got more attention than anything I've ever done because it literally is fulfilling a massive issue instantly right now. Now, to get to that place, well, that was the headline when I actually gave the house away on TV. It went all over the world and that TV show has been, I think, sold out of 50 countries. But the whole point of doing that was to create awareness that there is people out there that do care. There are people out there with lots of money that don't care because they don't see visually the real issues that are going on. Um, so Naked Technologies was something I started about two years ago because I had a bunch of businesses, restaurants, properties, a cosmetic company, entertainment, education company. I had all these businesses, but it, they, weren't in kind of, they weren't linked together. So I thought, what better way to link them together than to create a currency called Naked? So if you want to get naked, now's the time to do it. And of course, when you're doing something like a, a new business, especially in a brand new space like crypto, it's good to get ahead in terms of branding. So Naked really got a lot of attention uh, in terms of the branding side of it. It's the first and only asset-backed crypto with proprietary blockchain technology that owns businesses and properties with a market cap of over $100 million. Now that Naked uh, dollar ICO was actually sold out, and it sold out of $100 million hard cap, it raised about $60 million, it sold out. Last year, it's been listed this week on the exchanges, so please look out for it. It's on OKX.com and SGCoinX.com if you want to make a, a, a really good buy. Um, Imagine this is the a video. new asset-backed cryptocurrency with its own organic ecosystem of fully owned consumer businesses. One that lets you fulfill all your travel, cosmetics, education, property, restaurant and entertainment needs at wholesale prices while rewarding you with more currency to spend. Naked Dollars is the world's only asset-backed cryptocurrency. It already saves our customers over 50% with our award-winning restaurants, property, and fully licensed APTA and ATOL compliant travel services. As a Naked Dollar owner, you'll own these new rich list businesses too. Naked Dollars encompass a marketplace where you can earn and spend Naked Dollars in a variety of businesses, with more merchants and chain stores being added. Co-founded by multi-award winning entrepreneur Marco Robinson, creator of Channel 4's How to Get a Free House, and technical genius Malvindran Ganesh. Naked Dollars has a co-branded Visa debit card, Bitcoin ATMs, a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform, 
and soon a fully licensed mobile bank. We filed for patent in the US and are patent pending for all our technology. If you bought 10,000 Bitcoin in... So we're finished there. I've only got one minute left, so I've got to be very quick. Uh, it's based on Metcalfe's law. That's the white paper. It's sold out. It's on the exchanges this week. Big Love is the new ICO I'm doing right now. It's fabulous because you can really see your funds working. So once you've got three stages of homelessness, you've got people who want to be homeless because they love that attachment emotionally. So we do drug testing, profile testing. Once we've done that, then we send them a meal with your token. Send them a meal, send them a room night, send them a blanket, send them a friend, send them a nurse, send them a doctor. And then you get into micro funding because we've got a credit marketplace where as a donator, it's not just about the, the person you're helping, it's about you as well, because you see them transforming. And that's extremely fulfilling and probably the most emotional thing you'll ever go through in your entire life, apart from divorce, marriage, and childbirth. I can tell you it's better than all those three. So please, <laughs> please get involved, spread the love. It's Valentine's Day yesterday, and there's no hard cap on big love because you can't limit love. So thank you very much for listening to me. Thanks for having me in Silicon Valley. Have a nice day and give someone a hug.